Spending the summer alone has always been perceived as a negative thing, but it's not always true. This video I can show you that being independent and doing things by yourself can be enjoyable and you might even prefer it. I used to get so much anxiety about going gym by myself, so I went early today so it'd be empty. I went on my own pace and did machines that I was comfortable with and ended up having a really good workout. I used to get scared that everyone would judge me and look at me, but what I've learned is that everyone just focuses on themselves and it really does not matter. Personally, I love shopping alone. It is so therapeutic and relaxing. You can go at your own pace and listen to good music. I found these linen trousers, but they weren't in my size, which I was really sad about. But they had a really good summer range, but I did leave empty-handed. I then went to Primark to look at the gym sets, but was surprised they weren't in my size again, so I left empty-handed. And I went to the works because they had the best books and they have such good prices for them. And I did end up getting a book, which I'm very happy about. I hadn't been charity shopping in ages and sometimes I can find it quite awkward, especially if you're by yourself, but it actually went okay. I went to a few charity shops. I didn't end up buying anything, but I had a good look around. The last task of the day before I left town was to get journal and pens, which I've wanted forever so I was really excited. I had very specific requirements of what I wanted my journal to look like so it took me absolutely forever to pick the right journal. But I ended up going to my biggest enemy, WH Smith, and I ended up spending like £16 on journal and pens. Okay, okay, here's a little update. So I went to my house, right? I'm locked out, forgot my keys, parents aren't home. My best mate isn't in town, don't really know what to do. So I figured I'd just like sit on a field and I don't even know, mate. I was gonna come on the field anyway, but I was gonna like bring like a blanket and some like actual stuff and change my clothes. But yeah, I just love my life so much. What is this British dead grass? This is like, this is minging. Why am I supposed to, ha why'd I have to sit on this? Hey guys, so I've sat down. Really uncomfortable to be honest. It's all cool. Yeah, so as you saw, I got this book, which was in like my book wish list. And on Amazon, it was like eight quid or something. And it says three quid. I was like, I'll get that. Put it in my little book library. Then I've really been wanting to do journaling. So I invested in journal. And I also got some like gel pens and they were doing like a three for two offer. So I got like some pastel like highlighter sharpies and that all together came to like 15 quid or like 16 quid, which was not bad at all. And then luckily I got food because I was locked out. So I got strawberries and I got sushi. I don't really know what to do. I guess I'll just eat and write. Yeah, cool. Hot okay i feel like i'm going into some kind of christening or like um, a first birthday party i'm kind of getting that vibe i'm literally i feel like i'm being christened but we're home now and and i think i'm just gonna oh the steps on a strawberry no that was so annoying um I'm probably either going to be doing more of my journal or just chilling or maybe reading. There's so many options. There's some ice water though. It tastes divine. Oh my god, I didn't tell you guys I have to wear glasses like when I'm on screens and stuff. And when I'm reading. So I'm watching the summer. I turned pretty. I like I start I started watching it because like it was a trend and stuff, but like I'm fully obsessed. Oh my god, can we talk about the soundtrack of that show? Oh 
you can tell I'm a film student. So I'm just gonna like chill and watch that.